Do life hacks really work? Well, today we're gonna answer that question. I have handpicked five different life hacks from this five minutes craft video called 25 life hacks that will give you goosebumps. So not only are they saying that these life hacks are gonna make your life easier, but they're also gonna give you goosebumps. But out of these 25, I have handpicked the five that I think will be the most useful to you and me. So we're gonna test them out and we're gonna find out if they actually work. I guess this life hack is good uh, if you wanna find out if your boyfriend or girlfriend is cheating on you. We're gonna give it a try. I actually have my girlfriend's makeup bag right here. Um, she doesn't know I have it, but uh, it's fine. And we're gonna try to find some lipstick. Could be lipstick. It's not. One of these has to be lipstick. And it's not. How does she not have lipstick? This looks like lipstick. No, that's a lash thing, I think. This is a lip cream, so I'm sure this has to work. Yeah, I, I see my thumbprint getting. Put it there. And remember, you'll be able to do this to your significant other while they're sleeping, okay? Oh wait, look, I got my thumbprint. Wow, I don't, should I show that? Yeah, I got it, so this should work, right? And I try to unlock my phone. I forgot my phone doesn't even have a, a thumb ID anymore. It has face ID. I have the iPhone XR. How am I, I'm not even gonna be able to test this out. Um, it seems like it could possibly work. I did get my fingerprint from putting makeup on it. I can't believe I forgot my phone does not have a fingerprint thing. Actually, that'd be easier. With face ID, they actually made that life hack easier because when your significant other's sleeping, you can just pick their phone up and like hold it in front of their face and then it'll open and then uh, you can see if they're cheating on you or not. Okay, well, that was a waste of time. On to the next one. Honestly, it looks like she's spying on them in a school in a very public area. So just imagine if you saw somebody peeping around a corner looking into a box in, in, in your school or, or at, a, at a library, somewhere public. Someone's just like posted up like this around a corner. I'd stay far away from that person. They would make me very nervous. Have you caught your significant other cheating on you with that other, the first life hack? Uh, this box one might, might come in handy. I don't have scissors, so. So this is what it would look like. I'm gonna spy on you guys uh, while you're watching the video. So I'm gonna peep, peep around the corner. If I had mirrors, I would be able to see you guys through this, this hole I've created. But you can see, like imagine the side of the screen is a, is a corner, like this is a corner right here. I can't just put the box there. You're gonna see me and the box. The box isn't long enough for that. Tell me if this is stealthy really quick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spy on you guys. Imagine the side of the screen is a corner, okay? So first I'm gonna try to spy on you without the box, ready? Oh, all right, so that was kind of stealthy, right? That was quick. Um, I was in and out. Now I'm gonna spy on you with the box. See, I feel like I need to come out farther with the box. Like, her box and my box are not very big, so no matter what, you're gonna see me just looking into a a Ziploc bag box or a tin foil box. So, uh, let's move on to the next one. He's eating a nut, but it's no nut November. All right. Now this life hack makes your life easier because every time you want to eat a nut uh, that you have to crack the shell for, all you have to do is go outside and find a gate and uh, crack it. Then you just come back to your house and eat it. So uh, 
I'd say that's probably much easier than just going to the store and buying nuts that are already cracked for you. We're gonna test we're gonna test this life hack out. I don't have an outside gate though, but I do have a baby gate inside because I do have a, a dog, a puppy. So uh, she needs a baby gate because uh, she's reckless. Um, I don't know if I have any nuts either. Um, I guess I just wasn't prepared as much as I thought I was for this video. The only light or the only gate I have in my house is this baby gate uh, for the dogs because they're always trying to get in the kitchen and feast and stuff. So uh, this is what we're gonna have to use to try to crack a nut uh, that's in its shell. The only thing is I don't have any nuts. Not to blow your guys' minds or anything, but technically a banana has a shell. I'm gonna put the banana into the gate and see if we can crack its shell and I can enjoy a nice banana. But these two dogs are just waiting to feast. Um, sitting against the tripod. Oh my gosh, she's trying to get the banana. Get out of here, get out of here. This gate also doesn't touch the wall. It comes down and cru it can crush things. So I'm gonna put the banana right in there. Are you ready? It cracked the banana shell. And now we can enjoy a nice banana. <laughs> Did you guys see that? That was so cool. This is the most interesting filming setup I've ever had. I didn't realize the lighting in the kitchen was so bad. I left my other light upstairs. I guess I could have got it, but my phone light's fine. Um, so yeah, uh, we crushed the banana. So I guess that life hack did work. All right guys, when I saw this life hack, I honestly thought this is a total game changer. This is going to make your life a hundred, maybe even a thousand times easier. Now this girl, her IQ might be off the charts. She is eating seeds. She has actually taped a bag to her face so she is getting the seeds nowhere. She is not creating a mess at all. Now think about this. That doesn't only have to apply it to seeds. What if you're in bed and you want to have an, an, an in-bed snack but your mom or your significant other tells you not to because they say, Oh, cereal gets everywhere. Oh, goldfish gets everywhere. But if you tape that bag to your face, you'll be able to enjoy an in-bed snack without creating a mess at all. So we are gonna test this out right now. I have Honey Nut Cheerios and I have a bag. This could be a, a new fashion statement. You, even, like if you go out in public with this bag, like imagine you see someone in public who has a bag on their face and who is eating. Just think about how smart everyone will think they are. Okay. I'm gonna tape this to my chin. So we make sure that nothing gets out of this bag. All right, bet. This doesn't really look that bad, right? Then we got our uh, nice snack. And I'm gonna be messy with it, baby. Cause I'm gonna show you guys I'm not getting anything anywhere. Are you ready? I got some Cheerios in my hand. Hold on, maybe I go like this. Alrighty, I'm just gonna put a hole. It's gonna catch all of these Cheerios, ready? Oh, oh, okay. Um. Okay, there's not one Cheerio in this bag. I might have to try that one more time because this is how many Cheerios we dropped. So, uh, I mean, they should be going into the bag. All right, I have a handful of Cheerios. Here we go. Oh my God, oh, 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 wait, wait, Mmm, mmm, look. One Cheerio got into the bag. Well, half a Cheerio. That just made my pickup of all the Cheerios on the ground a little bit less. I have to get this tape off my face. Yeah, they kind of went all over the place. Sorry, Scott, there's some in your bed. I think that, I think that one went kind of well.
usually people have a washer and a dryer. So why would they wash their clothes in a washer to get them wet and then dry them with the towel? Um, I mean, unless their clothes got wet some other way, like they fell into a pond. This shirt is super important. I have to wear it to a special super important business meeting, but it's gonna accidentally get wet in a few minutes, and then we're gonna have to see if the towel method can dry it to save me and uh, my business meeting. Oh no, I accidentally, I'm, I dropped my, my shirt is getting so wet in the shower. What am I ever gonna do? I have a business meeting in five minutes. The dryer's just gonna take way too long. <laughs> see? All right, we got that nice and wet. I don't know if I can roll up. I hope you guys can see how wet this shirt is. I just don't know if I can, I can go outside in this shirt. We have the wet shirt, we have the towel. I'm gonna lay the towel out, and then I'm gonna put the wet shirt on top of it. And then I'm gonna do the towel folding thing. And then I'm going to stomp that moisture right out. Are you ready? I don't know how long we should do. I'll do a few, like 10 seconds, I guess. This is a good, this is one of my favorite life hacks so far. All right. Should be good. All right, I'm, to reveal how wet the shirt is, I'm gonna put it on. It, it'll kind of be like a fun wet shirt, well, to wet t-shirt contest or something. Hopefully the shirt's not wet though. The shirt is still soaking wet. Honestly, if I wore this all day, I would definitely get a cold. I wish you guys, I hope you guys can see how wet it is. I don't know if any water will come out if I squeeze it. No, but it's just like super, super damp. Um, I don't know if this would be a good look uh, in public or at a business meeting. So, I mean, maybe if you did that for like 10 minutes, it would dry out, so that technically would be quicker than a dryer, but that would be a lot of cardio for me personally. But uh, if you have that much uh, stamina, uh, go ahead and use this life hack. Hey guys, I'm sitting here editing and I realized that I forgot to film an intro, an outro. So thank you all for watching the video. I love and appreciate you guys. I'm gonna try to upload a YouTube video. I know I say this every time, like every week or every other week. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit that bell, make sure you check back for more content. Let me know what you want to see on the channel. I'm open to all ideas and all types of content uh, for my YouTube channel. So uh, let me know. I'll see you guys in the next video.